Hello everyone, welcome to the Lang Focus channel and my name is Paul. Today we'll be discussing the question how similar are Metropolitan French and Quebec French or Quebecois? In other words, how similar is the French spoken in France to the French spoken in Quebec? French is one of the world's major languages and it's spoken in dozens of different countries and everywhere that it's spoken, the standard variety or the formal variety that's learned at school and used in the media is essentially the same as Metropolitan French based on the Parisian variety of French. In informal speech, however, there is some variation with local differences in accent and vocabulary. There's one major variety of French that is particularly distinct from Metropolitan French and that is the French of Quebec a culturally distinct French-speaking province in Canada. French speakers from France often say that they have trouble understanding the French spoken in Quebec. I should point out that the formal variety of French used in Quebec is virtually identical to Metropolitan French. The differences lie in the informal varieties of Quebec. And in informal speech, there can be a considerable amount of difference. But why is Quebec French distinct from Metropolitan French? The reason lies in the settlement of New France and the later isolation of Quebec from France. New France was an area in North America that was colonized by France before the creation of Canada and the United States. The first settlers in New France were not mainly from the Paris area, but from regions like Normandy and Brittany, where regional sister languages of French, langue d'oil, were spoken rather than French itself. But since French settlers were outnumbered by English settlers, the King of France, King Louis XIV, sent female settlers, mainly from the Paris area, to help bolster their numbers through marriage and childbirth. Since these women were mainly from the Paris area, they brought with them their Parisian variety of French, which contributed to the decline of the regional languages and the adoption of French among the settler population. And of course, the interaction between speakers of different regional languages encouraged the use of French as a lingua franca. As a result, the language that developed in New France was similar to the language spoken by the king and the aristocracy, but was also influenced by the regional languages of the settlers. The French language became adopted throughout the various regions of France later, after the French Revolution of the late 18th century. The variety of French that became the new widespread standard language was not the French of the king and the aristocracy, but rather the French of the bourgeois class who led the revolution. Prior to the French Revolution, New France had already been conquered by the British in 1760, and its elite had returned to France. The British soon decided to allow the French-speaking population in what is now Quebec to continue using their language as a way to prevent them from joining the American Revolution against the British, which was taking place to the south. Quebec therefore remained under British rule but was isolated from France. The French language in Quebec began developing in its own direction, while the French spoken in France developed in its own direction. Vocabulary The vocabulary of Quebec French differs from that of Metropolitan French in several ways. First, the two varieties of French have taken in loanwords from English during different time periods. The French of Quebec was infused with English vocabulary during the period from 1850 to 1960. For example, the word for job. In Quebec French there's une job. In Metropolitan French Un travail, un emploi. In Quebec French, weird. In Metropolitan French, bizarre. In Quebec French, there's chum, meaning a male friend or boyfriend. And in Metropolitan French, that would be mon petit ami or mon copain. In Quebec French, there's fun. In Metropolitan French, it's amusant. Fun also appears in the phrase avoir du fun, which is a direct translation of the English expression to have fun. In Metropolitan French, it would be s'amuser. Expressions like this are called calques or loan translations. Another example is ça fait du sens. This is translated from English, that makes sense. In Metropolitan French, it would be ça a du sens. And in Quebec French, people say bienvenue to mean you're welcome. But in Metropolitan French, they would say de rien. Bienvenue means welcome in all varieties of French, but not you're welcome in response to thank you. Note that these are informal Quebecois words, which are not considered proper in formal Quebec French, which mirrors the standards of Metropolitan French. Since 1960, there have been French language protection laws in Quebec and a general distaste towards Anglicisms. Metropolitan French, on the other hand, doesn't have this same protective attitude and in recent decades has been more influenced by English. So it contains recent English loanwords that are not used in Quebec. For example, in Metropolitan French, they say email. But in Quebec French, they say un courriel. In Metropolitan French, there's smartphone. In Quebec, they say téléphone intelligent. 
Stop signs in France say Stop. This is not really a part of the French language, it's just an internationally used street sign. But in Quebec, the signs say Arrêt. Another aspect of vocabulary that differs is that there are some words or expressions in Quebec French that seem older or more traditional to speakers of metropolitan French. The Quebecois word for shoes is Des souliers. In metropolitan French, it's Des chaussures. The Quebecois word for car Un char. In France, it's Une voiture. In France, char means tank, as in tank of war. Another example is the way to say I miss you in Quebec. It's Je m'ennuie de vous. In France, that would sound rather old-fashioned, and the way people would usually say it is Vous me manquez. The French of Quebec also contains numerous slang expressions and swear words that are taken from the Catholic religion. Perhaps the most famous swear word of Quebec is Tabarnak. Others include Calis, meaning chalice. Hostie, meaning host or communion bread. These words are only offensive in Quebec and nowhere else in the Francophone world, as far as I know. And the French of Quebec has also just developed some of its own vocabulary and expressions. For example, to go shopping. In Quebec French, it's Faire du magasinage. In metropolitan French, it's Faire des courses. Faire du shopping. Grammar. Written French in Quebec is grammatically identical to metropolitan French, but in informal speech, you might hear some differences in grammar. Tu is used after verbs as a yes or no question marker. T'as-tu une blonde? This means, do you have a girlfriend? In metropolitan French, it's... T'as une petite amie? Notice here that tu is being used as a yes or no question marker and not as a pronoun. Also notice the Quebecois word for girlfriend, blonde. C'est tu prêt? This means, is it ready? In metropolitan French, that would be... C'est prêt? Est-ce que c'est prêt? Here, notice that the subject is third person. To be clear, tu is nothing but a question marker here. It's not the second person pronoun tu. It's also used for emphasis or exclamation. C'est-tu choquant? That's so shocking. C'est si choquant. Next. In Quebec French, que is used as the relative pronoun more often than in metropolitan French. Je cherche le livre que j'ai besoin. This means I'm looking for the book that I need. In metropolitan French, this would be Je cherche le livre dont j'ai besoin. And in a sentence with an embedded question, in metropolitan French, you use a relative pronoun. But in Quebec French, the interrogative pronoun is used. Je fais qu'est-ce que je veux. This means, I do what I want. In metropolitan French, Je fais ce que je veux. Next, in Quebec French, the explicit subject of a sentence is often said as a tag, with a pronoun as the subject in the main clause. For example, Mon boss, il me met tellement en colère. This means, my boss makes me so angry. Notice how the subject, my boss, is set aside at the beginning, separate from the main clause. And then the pronoun I, which is a contraction of il, appears in the main clause. In metropolitan French, this would be Mon patron me met tellement en colère. In Quebec French, Son plan, c'est de voyager autour du monde. This means his plan is to travel around the world. In metropolitan French, it would be Son projet est de voyager autour du monde. This type of tag is also used in metropolitan French, but is much more common in Quebec French. Next, there are some differences in imperative forms. In Quebec French, Dis-moi-le. This means, tell me, or tell it to me. In metropolitan French, Dis-le-moi. You can see that the object pronoun, le, is positioned differently. And now the negative form. Dis-moi-le pas. In metropolitan French, Ne me le dis pas. You can see that in the negative, the syntax is quite different. In metropolitan French, the object pronoun me is used instead of the French emphatic pronoun moi, often pronounced moi in Quebec. And it comes before the verb, as does the object pronoun le. In Quebec French, they come after the verb, as they do in the affirmative. Accent. Probably the biggest difference between the French of Quebec and metropolitan France simply lies in accent. Without previous exposure to the French spoken in Quebec, French speakers from Europe typically have trouble understanding it, and this differs depending on the socioeconomic background and the region of the speaker. The consonants are not so different for the most part, but there are some differences. In Quebec French, before the vowels E and U, the consonants T and D become T and Z. Tu dis. Whereas in metropolitan French, it's pronounced Tu dis. There are several different rhotic sounds used throughout Quebec, including trill sounds, as opposed to the uvular fricative of metropolitan French. 
However, this is also true in France, where some regional accents have trills rather than fricatives. And in Quebec, in formal speech and in many areas, the uvular fricative is also used. So the situation in Quebec and France is similar, except that in France, the shift towards the uvular fricative is more advanced. Vowels. One difference is that nasal vowels are quite different. In Quebec French, there's quand, and in Metropolitan French, there's quand. Another difference is that in Quebec French, long vowels and nasal vowels become diphthongs in open syllables. So in Quebec French, we have fait, but in Metropolitan French, there's fait. In Quebec French, we have père. In Metropolitan French, it's père. Related to that, Quebec French retains some long vowels from older French that have become short in Metropolitan French. For example, in Metropolitan French, these two words sound the same. Maître, maître. But in Quebec French, they don't. Maître, maître. These are just a couple of examples, but there are numerous distinctions like these in vowels. Some words also become contracted in Quebec French. For example, sur, meaning on, followed by a definite article, gets contracted. Seul, ça, c'est. Si. Now let's look at a few sentences to compare. Here's a sentence meaning, I fell in love with her because she's beautiful. In Quebec French, Je suis tombé en amour avec elle à cause qu'elle est belle. And in Metropolitan French, Je suis tombé amoureux d'elle parce qu'elle est belle. Here we can see a Québécois expression, tomber en amour avec, which is a calque of the English expression, fall in love with. And here we see two different phrases meaning because. A cause que is an older phrase, which is obsolete in Metropolitan French, but is still used in Quebec. Another pair of sentences. This time they mean, I want to go out with my friends on the weekend. In Quebec French, Je veux sortir en gagne en fin de semaine. And in Metropolitan French, Je veux sortir avec mes amis ce weekend. In the Quebec French sentence, we see en gang, which means with a group of friends or colleagues. This phrase is strictly a Québécois phrase. So in Metropolitan French, you'd say something like avec mes amis. Next, we see the phrase en fin de semaine, which means on the weekend. In Metropolitan French, the usual term is le weekend, or in this context, ce weekend. This is an anglicism that has not entered Quebec French due to its language protection efforts. In Metropolitan French, someone might say fin de semaine, but to refer to the end of the work week, like Thursday, Friday, before le weekend. Now let's look at one last pair of sentences. This time they mean, I'm going to park the car here and ride my bike. In Quebec French, Je vais parquer le char ici et monter à bicyclette. And in Metropolitan French, Je vais garer la voiture ici et prendre mon vélo. Here we see a uniquely Quebecois phrase, parquer le char, with the verb parquer that comes from the English word park. And again, we see the word char, meaning car. And notice that the words for bicycle are different. In Quebec, the common word is bicyclette. This word isn't a loan word from English. In fact, it appeared in French before the word bicycle appeared in English. It's a standard French word, but is generally considered old-fashioned to speakers of metropolitan French, who mainly use the word vélo. As we've seen, the French of Quebec has a number of different features that distinguish it from metropolitan French, but it seems to me that people sometimes exaggerate these differences. There are significant differences in accent, but that seems like something that would cease to be much of a problem with significant exposure to it. In terms of vocabulary, Quebec has its own informal expressions and slang, but so do other French-speaking areas, including Paris. In terms of grammar, there are some little things here and there, but nothing too shocking. And of course, formal French in Quebec is very close to formal French in France, albeit with a different accent. The question of the day. For native speakers of French from Quebec, from your point of view, how different is your variety of French from the French spoken in Europe? And for native speakers of French from Europe, how well can you understand the French spoken in Quebec? And for learners of French, assuming that you're learning metropolitan French, what do you think of the French spoken in Quebec? Is it hard to make sense of? Be sure to follow LangFocus on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And once again, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, especially my top-tier Patreon supporters. These wonderful people right here on the screen. Many thanks to them. And to everyone, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.